Hi everyone and uh, welcome to RLD. Uh, so this is the first video in uh, the uh, RLD uh, video tutorial series <clears throat> in which I'm going to show you how to uh, like the, the, the basic steps of initializing the plugin. Now um, I'm going to assume you have imported the runtime level design package inside your project. Uh, the next step would be to go to tools, uh, runtime level design and then uh, click on initialize. Now, uh, once you've done that, you will get a new hierarchy of objects in the scene. Uh, the root is called RLD app. And this guy has a bunch of children, a bunch of child objects, um, which are basically each, each object represents a module. Uh, and each module is responsible for a particular task. It has a specific role. Now, if you click on each and every one of these, you see uh, the inspector will allow you to configure how the module works. But we're not going to get into these uh, in, in, in this video. Um, what I would like to point out, however, is if you click on RT Focus Camera, uh, this is basically um, RT Focus Camera is a script that basically um, takes control of a camera object and it allows it allows it to behave um, like the Unity Editor camera, right? So uh, you can see by default um, you have this field here called Target Camera. Uh, this has been uh, uh, automatically um, filled in by uh, by the plugin on initialization and it's, it was set to main camera right so if you have a main camera in the scene that is a camera that has the main camera tag uh, the plugin will automatically associate the camera with the RT focus camera now uh, let's uh, let's do this again but this time I'm going to um, untag this yeah, so this camera is no longer marked as a main camera. Now if I go to Tools, run the level design, initialize, uh, and click on RT Focus Camera, you can see that uh, no camera is uh, specified here. So in that case, if you if you see this uh, if you see this empty, if this field is empty for you, then you will need to just create a camera if you don't have one, or if you have a camera, then just take it and drag and drop it right here in this in this field. Yeah, and um, yeah, that's that's pretty much all. Now, uh, there, there is an additional step, optional uh, in some cases, um, that has to do with scene and asset preparation, but I will discuss that uh, in, in the next video. Um, after initialization, you can just switch to play mode and um, you can then just, you know, use the camera to navigate the scene. You can select objects, uh, transform them and, uh, yeah, and, 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 and so on. So uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through uh, the gizmos in, in this video because um, there's there's gonna be um, <coughs> separate videos for that, and we're also gonna talk about object selection and uh, some really cool stuff that, that you can do with it like object to object snapping and surface snapping and uh, grid snapping and, and so on. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's uh, the, those are the the basic steps for uh, getting started using the plugin. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.